Fudbalski Club Vovodina, commonly known as Vovodina Novi Sad or simply Vovodina, is a professional Serbian football club based in Novi Sad, Vovodina, the second largest city in Serbia, and one of the most popular clubs in the country. In its long history, Vovodina was one of the most successful clubs in the former Yugoslavia, winning two first league titles, in 1966 and 1989, was runners-up in 1957, 1962 and 1975, achieved the third place in 1992 and finished as fifth in the competition's all-time table. Vovodina was also runners-up of the Yugoslav Cup in 1951. They won the UEFA Inter Toto Cup in 1976, the Mitropa Cup in 1977 and was also runners-up of the Mitropa Cup in 1957 and the UEFA Inter Toto Cup in 1998. From 1993 to 1997, Vovodina achieved in the national championship the third place five times in a row and was runners-up of the domestic cup in 1997. They were runners-up of the Serbian Superliga in 2009 and achieved the third place in 2007, 2008, 2011, 2012 and 2013. Vovodina was also runners-up of the Serbian Cup in 2007, 2010, 2011 and 2013. The first cup trophy Vovodina won in 2014. The club is the major part of the Vovodina Novi Sad Sports Society and currently the third oldest football club in the Serbian Superliga and the most successful football club in Serbia next to the rivals Red Star Belgrade and Partizan Belgrade. History, Founding, on March 6, 1914 in Sava Angstra Mijakova Euro unregistered trademark S. Weaving Mill in the Temerinska Street 12, a group of students of the Serbian Orthodox High School established with the help of intellectuals and craftsmen a football club in Novi Sad. The club was founded in secrecy, because the former Austro-Hungarian authorities banned larger organized gatherings of juveniles in the Vovodina region which was inhabited mostly by Serbs. The club took the name Vovodina, in order to emphasize the memory of the political territorial unit of the Serbs in the Serbian Vovodina in which the Serbs, at least on paper, get the same rights as all other citizens in the Habsburg Empire for which they have fought for years. The name Vovodina means in Serbian a type of duchy, more specifically, a voivodeship. It derives from the word Vovoda, and means one who leads warriors, or war leader. Among the club founders on that day were the future textile industrialist Milenko Angstroma Jakov, the future university professor Vladimir Milia Evaya, the future chemists Milenko Hinya, the future lawyers Radenko Rakia and Kamenko Iria, Gojo Tajia, Uri Angstrom one half Ivanov, Branko Gospuna Key, the future doctor of law Costa Harder three quarters I and others. The new club played its first match in the village of Kovilj against local club FK Angstrom Arkor. Vovodina played in bright blue colours and white shorts and won by 5 a Euro 0. Spito Zadja Kervia, Jovan Jubajevia, Milorad Milia Evaya, Duzan Korva Ev, Jovan Jakervia, Azren Stojanovic, Sava Ijnjaaf, Gavansky, Pradrag Stojanovic Sierga. Angstrom one half Ivo Jinnariamov and Uro Kovac entered the record books as the first players in the history of Vovodina. The players were mainly pupils and students, who came from Prague in the summer holidays and played only that one match, because shortly before World War I broke out. The strict hand of the Austro-Hungarian authorities stopped all Serbian organizations in Novi Sad and Vovodina was the first time in the situation to be shut down. The Millionaires Team after the liberation, Vovodina resumed the work thanks to the enthusiasm of Serbian students from Prague. The first president of Vovodina became Milenko Angstrom Ajakov, son of weaving mill owner Sava Angstrom Ijak, and the first secretary became Drive. Angstrom one half of Obajazit, the longtime president of the Serbian Merchant Bank and member of the Sokol organization. The club financed solely by membership fees and by generous contributions as by Max Grin, Dakar Popovia, the Novikovia brothers, Ilija Balabuaia and the members of Duneski family. Part of the Vovodina players and management who studied in Prague, were also members of football club Slavia Prague. The Czech club supported the Vovodina members during the difficult times before and during the World War I and contributed in the development of the club. In 1920, 
was brought from Prague the first set of red and white jerseys. At the club meeting held on July 23, 1922, it was decided that in honor of Slavia Prague the red and white colors adorn the jerseys of Vovodina. The coat of arms was also partially modeled after Slavia Prague Euro unregistered trademark S coat of arms, where the red star of the Czech team was replaced with the blue star, so that Vovodina Euro unregistered trademark S coat of arms had all the colors of the Serbian flag. The first coach, technical director and chief organizer TH three quarters F Vovodina was the lawyer Dr. Costa Harda three quarters I. One of the main founder of Vovodina and the Novi Sad Football Sub Association. Under his leadership, Vovodina won the Novi Sad Sub Association League in 1926, which was the first trophy in its history. Vovodina played with following players Miailovia, Angstrom 1 half Ivia, Kryakov, Popovia, Vajs, Alexa, Gorov, Marjanovia, Angstrom Evia, Petrovia, Duda S, and Saras. The club provided the first professional contracts to its players, and also brought professional players from abroad such as Czech Josef Oyapek and Hungarian Zander Duda S. and Abraham Saras. One of the best and most influential Vovodina players at the time was Dua and Markovia, an effective striker who played for Vovodina from 1921 to 1935. And of the 1930s, Vovodina brought many good players into the team, which was later known as the Millionaires team and one of the best was Joe Three Quarters F. Velka, which became to a crucial player of the club. In 1932, 1934, 1935, 1937 a Euro 1940, Vovodina won the Novi Sad Football Sub Association League. Since then, Vovodina began having serious pretensions to win the Yugoslav First League. The club failed to immediately make an impact. But during the season 1940-41, Vovodina fought for the top. The final stage of the championship was interrupted by the beginning of the World War II, and the Axis bombing, mobilization and country's occupation made the continuation of the competition impossible. The tragedy, during the World War II, the Kingdom of Yugoslavia was invaded and partitioned by the Axis powers, and its northern parts, including Novi Sad, were annexed by Hungary. One of the first decisions of the occupiers was the prohibition of Vovodina and the confiscation of its property. Large parts of the club archives were destroyed by the new authorities, and most of the trophies which were won up to this time were lost. The local population was suppressed and many Serbian, as well as Jewish, Roma and other civilians, were murdered, perished in concentration camps, like the Angstrom Arva concentration camp, or were expelled, including many Vovodina members. But many citizens of all ethnicities, mostly Serbs, but also some anti fascist and pro Serb local Hungarians, Slovaks, and others, joined the resistance and fought together against the fascist occupation, among them, many Vavodina members. Especially bloody was 1942, when in a single sweep Hungarian troops killed over 4.000 local Serbs, Jews, and Roma, mostly during the Novi Sad massacre. During the war, Vovodina lost almost the entire team, among them, Boa Three Quarters Adar Petrovia, Milan Simin and his brother Pira Simin, Dua Anna Angstrom Wave, Svito Zardar Three Quarters Anya, Milan Stoja, Angstrom One Half of Obozak and Radovan Boa Three Quarters In. Also many club officials and fans died. Golden Generation and the Fifth Force, surviving club members, players and board members, led by Dr. Costa Harda Three Quarters I. A Euro Angstrom one half Ivia, Branko Milovinovia and Alexander Karnazir, initiated the restoration work of the club in 1944. On July 24, in 1946, the new communist authorities decided the merger of three clubs from Novi Sad, Vovodina, Slavica and Radnia Key under the new name slogan Novi Sad. This met a lot of resistance among the population and the supporters continued to call the club Vovodina. The club initially played in the Yugoslav Second League until it reached the promotion to the Yugoslav First League in 1948. In 1950, after a long resistance by the supporters, the old name Vovodina was returned. The following year, Vovodina reached for the first time the Yugoslav Cup final and was the first team in Yugoslavia, which broke the myth of the so-called Belika Oitvorka, the Big Four. 
This was the beginning of the so-called Golden Generation, which was known for its developed technical football. On December 11, in 1955, Vovodina played against Hajduk in split and after an impressive football display from Vovodina, the thrilled fans of Hajduk took the Vovodina players on their shoulders and carried them from the field. In the 1950s, Vovodina finished the seasons regularly in the top half of the table. In 1953, they finished the season as fourth, 1957 as second, 1959 as third and became the fifth force in the Yugoslav football. Also on the international stage Vovodina had good results, so in 1957, where they reached the Mitropa Cup final, and two years later the semi-finals. During this period, the most influential players were Vujadin Boakov, Toda Veselinovia, Zdravo Rolkov, Sima Milovanov, Dobrosav Krstia, Steve Ambina and Alexander Ival. Striker Toda Veselinovia was the top scorer of the Yugoslav League in 1956, 1957, 1958 and 1961. Winning of the first championship, in 1962, Vovodina was runners-up. However, the results deteriorated in the following seasons and Vovodina even started fighting against relegation. In 1964 everything changed with Vujadin Boakov as the technical director and Branko Stankovia as coach. Vujadin Boakov remodeled and modernized the club. The infrastructure was improved and a new sports center was built. It also organized a successful scouting network and the administration, headed by President Arsakova Evaya, was able to provide all necessary conditions for the competition. Coach Branko Stankovia changed the style of play and shifted the emphasis on discipline and running. The only player who had a free hand was Sylvester Tekar, one of the best players of this generation. In 1966, Vovodina won the Yugoslav First League for the first time with eight points ahead of second place Dinamo Zagreb. Members of this generation were Sylvester Tekar, Ilija Pantelia, Angstrom one half Arko Nikolia, Ivik Abruzia, Rajo Alexa, and Ray Pavlia, Debrivage Trivia, Stevan Zekria, and Ray Milia and Stevan Natiki. In the following season, Vovodina has continued to be successful also on the international scene. In the first round of the 1966-67 Europa Cup season were defeated Austrian representatives Admiral Wien by a goal from Tekar. In the second round Vovodina played against the favoured Atla copyright Tico Madrid. The first leg was played in Novi Sad and Vovodina won by 3-1, with goals from Tekar, Pantelia and Bruzia, and for Madrid scored Atla copyright Tico legend Luis Aragona copyright S. In the second leg, Atla copyright Tico Madrid beat Vovodina with 2-0, so it was 3 a Euro 3 on aggregate. According the rules at that time, a third game had to be played. Hoping to turn it into an advantage, Atla copyright Tico proposed that the decisive match should be played in Madrid in their home ground, and in compensation they offered substantial financial compensation beside covering the accommodation and return ticket expenses. Aware of the risk. The management of Vovodina accepted the proposal, a decision which met incomprehension among the fans. However, aware of the risk, the coach Fujidin Boakov decided to take a chance, as believed in his team strength and the possibility of going through. In the third decisive match, Vovodina won after overtime by a goal from Tekar with 3 a Euro 2. Later, in the following winter transfer window, Vovodina sold Tekar to Stade Rennes because they needed to increase their finances for the new floodlights. However that turned to be a bad decision, as he turned out to be irreplaceable. In the quarter-finals, Vovodina played against Celtic and won the first leg in Novi Sad by a goal from Stania with 1-0, before being knocked out in dramatic circumstances by 2-0, thanks to a last-minute goal by Celtic captain Billy McNeil. That season Celtic would win the European Cup, and Celtic players later said that Vovodina was the best side they had faced that season. In fact, Celtic lost only against Vovodina. The following season Vovodina was fourth and qualified for the 1967 Euro 68 Intercities Fairs Cup season. They beat GD Fabrel from Portugal, Lokomotive Leipzig and Gar Paragraph Zepesk from Turkey, but lost against FC Bologna again in the quarter-finals. 
On April 29, 1968, Vovodina players tragically lost their teammate and the fans one of their heroes a Euro Stevan Natiki died in a car crash in Novi Sad. He was only 28 years old. In his honor, a football tournament and a street in Novi Sad carries his name. The first European trophy, in 1972, Vovodina Novi Sad achieved fourth place, but in the following seasons, good results were absent. Their fortune changed in 1974, when the club legend Toda Veselinovic took the team as the new coach. Already in 1975, Vovodina battled for their third title. The main rival was Hajduk Split. Vovodina beat them in both league matches, in Novi Sad by 2-0 and in Split by 4-1, but Hajduk Split won the championship at the end. In 1977, Vovodina left Fiorentina. Sparta Prague and Vases Budapest behind and won its first European trophy, the Mitropa Cup. Members of this generation were players like Zvonko Ivesia, Radko Svila, Patinik Ezia, and Ray Vukov, Slavolia Inar, Angstrom and Amokua and Martin Novosilak. Toda Veselinovia was the coach throughout the entire European campaign, except the last match which was led by Branko Stankovia who won the first championship with Vovodina in 1966. The second title, in 1985, Vovodina reached the semi-finals of the Yugoslav Cup, but lost against Red Star. Unexpectedly, the next 1985-86 season turned out to be the worst in Vovodina history. They finished as 18th in the league and were relegated to a lower rank of the competition. However, under coach Tunko Vukuaia, Vovodina won in 1987 the Yugoslav Second League and returned to the First League after only a year of absence. For the season 1987-88, Vovodina Euro unregistered trademark S management, led by Ljubo Angstrom Panjol, Milorad Kozinovia and the new coach Ivik Abruzia, succeed to bring together a competitive team. Vovodina signed a number of talented players like Simja Mihailovia, Slavia Ajokanovia, Budimir Vojaia, Miroslav Tanjga and veteran Marlo Angstrom Estia. In 1989, under the new coach Ljupko Petrovia, Vovodina spent almost the whole championship as league leaders. During the season, Vovodina won at home against all top four Yugoslav clubs. Partizan Belgrade was defeated by goals by 3 a Euro 2, Dinamo Zagreb by 4 a Euro 1. Hajduk split by 2 a Euro 0 and finally Red Star by 3 a Euro 1 in front of more than 27,000 spectators. Vovodina played the decisive game for the championship against Sloboda Tisla and needed a win to clinch the title ahead of rival Red Star. Vovodina won in front of 27.000 spectator by goals from Angstrom Estia, Vorkapaya and Vorjaia with 4 a Euro 2. The final whistle sparked off a huge celebration inside the stadium as well as a massive celebratory pitch invasion. The second championship trophy was finally won with three points ahead, after 23 years of waiting, by the new generation of players, such as Sinja Mihailovia, Marlo Angstrom Estia, Slavia Ajokanovia, Budimir Vorjaia, Ljubomir Vorkapaya, Miroslav Tanjga, Guran Kartalija, Dua and Mija. Spito Zar Angstrom Apuria, Ionido Maras, Stevan Milovac, Dragon Punia Ia and Zoran Majushia. The following season, Vovodina fell unhappily in the first round of European Cup against Honva Copyright D Budapest, although most of the key players from the previous league winning season remained. Losing the first leg by 1 Euro 0 at Honva Copyright D was extremely disappointing. During the second leg, Things went much better as Vovodina got up to a Euro 0 by goals from Sinja Mihailovia and Miroslav Tanjga, however a late own goal by defender Dragon Gorea dashed Vovodina hopes of progressing further. The eternal third, in 1990, Vovodina failed to defend the previously acquired title and finished the season as 11th. The disintegration of Yugoslavia, the civil war, the inflation and the UN sanctions have hit the Yugoslav football teams hard. The difficult situation forced Vovodina to sell its best players and the champions team broke up in the early 90s. However, Vovodina Euro unregistered trademark S management, led by Milutin Popivoda, succeeded to assemble a new team. The coaches, 
mainly Milorad Kozinovia, made also a great combination of players from Vovodina Euro unregistered trademark s excellent youth like Jovo Basana Ia, Goran Angstramala, Radoslav Samada three quarters Ia, Goran Erko and Svein Baja Escher, and players from other areas like Alexander Kosha, Dejan Guvdarika, Goran Gizdi Morovia, Maya Drag Pantelia, Vesko Mihailovia and Zoltan Sabo. From 1992, Vovodina achieved in the championship always the third place, six times in a row, and received the call of the eternal third. In 1995, they finished the first half of the season on the first place. Because of the UN sanctions, in this period Vovodina, as all the rest of the clubs from FR Yugoslavia, was not allowed to compete in European competitions and the question in how this generation would have played on the international scene was left. However, in 1995, Vovodina played a friendly match in Amsterdam against Ajax, in the season when they won the UEFA Champions League, where the old lady of Serbian football defeated them by 3 a Euro 2. In 1997, Vovodina achieved also the cup final, but lost against Red Star. In 1998, Vovodina started one after another victory in UEFA into Toto Cup. After eliminating Starbake, a Rebro SK and Baltica Kaliningrad in the first three rounds, Vovodina played the semi final against SC Bastia. In the first leg, held in Bastia, Vovodina suffered a 2 0 0 defeat. Although they were not given any chances in the return leg in Novi Sad, Vovodina pulled off a convincing 4 0 0 win. The cup final was played against Werder Bremen. The first match in Bremen was lost by 1 0 0 and the return game ended with 1 1. Vovodina coach was Tomislav Manulovia and the red white jersey was worn by players like Nikola Lazisha, Stravodrina Ia, Vidak Brescia, Jovan Taneza Jabia, Vladimir Madrinia. Zoran Jankovia, Dragon Angstrom one half Ilya, Mia Ovranje, Sor Selina Ek, Vladimir Matajor Evaya and Leo Larink. Crisis In the 2000 January season, Vovodina fought unexpectedly for competitive survival in the elite and the club ran into financial problems. The departure of the club director Svito Zar Angstrom Apuria opened the descent and Vovodina entered in a several years long crisis. In a short period of time, Numerous managers and coaches were changed regularly and the situation deteriorated more and more. This was a period of mediocre results and a circle of selling the best players to richer European clubs after just a couple of seasons of first-team football and replacing them with fresh young talents. Despite that, at that period, a large number of class players wore the jersey of Vovodina like Milo Krasia, Milan Jovanovia, Milan Stepanov, Ranko de Spotivia, Vladivermov, Bojan Niziri, Vidak Brescia, Jovan Taneza Jabia, Radoslav Batak, Milan Vjea Tika, Milan Belia and Maya Drag Stoia. In 2005, as a final act of desperation, the organized supporters, the firm and I and Vovodina Euro unregistered trademark s oldest supporters, called the Stara Garda, gathered and took over the assembly of the club to make the public aware on their dissatisfaction and the bad situation in the club. In the same year, the newly arrived club president Ratko Butarovia announced a better future for club. The squad was improved and in fact followed the stabilization and the rise of the club, both financial and in terms of results. Also, the management announced large reconstructions of the stadium and training facility, which were realized in the following years. Ratko Butarovia era, in 2007, Vovodina was third in the Serbian Superliga and reached also the Serbian Cup final against Red Star, but failing to take home the trophy. The following season they started with the 2007 08 UEFA Cup qualifiers. After eliminating Hibernians FC in the first round, they played the second round against the favoured Atla copyright Tico Madrid, more than 40 years after the legendary triple matches in the 1966-67 Europa Cup season. In the first leg, held in Madrid, Vovodina was defeated by goals from Marxi Rodriguez, Diego Fala N and Sergio Arga one quarter euro in front of 42,000 spectators with 3 a euro zero. In the return leg in Novi Sad, Vovodina lost again by 1-2. In 2008, 
Vojvodina was again third in the Serbian Superliga and in 2009, Vojvodina was runners-up, which was a huge step for Vojvodina as the club managed to finish second in the league, behind Partizan but in front of Red Star. This was the first time that another team than this two big Belgrade clubs finished in the top two since many years. In 2010, Vojvodina was fourth and qualified so again for the UEFA Europe League. Vojvodina was also one of the cup finalists. Previously Partizan was defeated by 3-1, but lost the final again against Red Star. In 2011, Vojvodina was third and was again one of the cup finalists, this time against Partizan, and the game was marred with controversy, culminating with Vojvodina players walked off the pitch in the 83rd minute of the game to protest, after several controversial decisions by the referee, with score standing at 1-2 in favor of Partizan. Initially, Partizan was declared winners and awarded the trophy but later this decision was revised pending an ongoing investigation by the Serbian FA. On May 16, 2011 the match was officially registered as a Vojvodina forfeit. In the following season Vojvodina reinforced its team by numerous acquisitions and the expectations were high. In the 2011 Euro 12 Serbian Superliga season, followed a further third placement and a semi-final of the Serbian Cup. Vojvodina defeated in the recent years, home and away, several times the two big clubs from Belgrade, Red Star and Partizan. Due to the constant successes of the last years, Vojvodina became the third absolute power in the Serbian football. Also, a large number of quality players wore the Vojvodina jersey in this period. Many players contributed to these successes, some of them are Gojo Kular, Dua Antadia, Dragan Ray, Marcelo Plech, Aber Bakarumaru, Ranko de Spotivia, Angstrom 1 half Ljkobrkia, Daniel Musov, Slobodan Medojivia, Miroslav Stevanovia, Vlatko Grozdanovsky, Georgi Mabashvili, Miroslav Yulia Evaya, Brina Ilya, Branislav Trakovia, Bakhmito Evaya, Damia Karaman, Janko Tumbasavia, Darko Lovria, Sevo Pavia Evaya, Joseph Kaizito, Dana Jul Alexa, Mario Gjurovsky, Alexander Katai, Nino Pekaraya, Vladimir Benor, Nikola Petkovia, and Stephen Appiah. Club Colors and Crest Vovodina played its first match in bright blue colors and white shorts. Some of the first Vovodina players and management studied in Prague and were also members of football club Slavia Prague. The Czech club supported the Vovodina members during the difficult times before and during the World War I and contributed in the development of the club. In 1920, was brought from Prague the first set of red and white jerseys. At the club meeting held on July 23, 1922, it was decided that in honor of Slavia Prague the red and white colors adorn the jerseys of Vovodina. The coat of arms was also partially modeled after Slavia Prague Euro 1 registered trademark S coat of arms, where the red star of the Czech club was replaced with a blue star so that Vovodina Euro 1 registered trademark S coat of arms had all the colors of the Serbian flag. Stadium and Training Facility The home field of Vovodina is the Karanare Stadium. It is named after Karanare, the leader of the first Serbian uprising against the Ottoman occupation. Formerly, it was known as the City Stadium or Vovodina Stadium, but it was renamed on request of the Vovodina fans in 2007 to Karanare Stadium. However, it was in fact the older and original name of the stadium that was used from its foundation until the end of the World War II. With a total capacity of about 2000, of which 14458 seats, it is one of the largest football stadiums in Serbia. The stadium has a new athletic track, and it is equipped with new Philips LED lights and 1700 Lux strong floodlights. The stadium features a VIP sector with 150 seats, VIP cafe restaurant, press center, and 14 fully equipped broadcast cabins. It is also the home ground for the Serbian U21 football team. Future development In 2012, the executive board announced further reconstructions of Karadjorge Stadium. These will include a new south stand, the reconstruction of eastern and southwest stands, and the covering of the whole stadium. The reconstruction will increase the stadium's capacity approximately to 19,500 seats. 
the FC Vujadin Boa covers the club's training facility and youth academy base. The sports complex is located in Vitnik, Novi Sad and was named after football legend Vujadin Boakov. The centre spread on 85,000 m2 of sports facilities and 2,000 m2 of enclosed space. It has six courts, one of them is with artificial grass and two courts are surrounded by bleachers. It has eight double rooms and two luxury suites, and each unit have most modern equipment. A kitchen supplies the senior team and all the younger categories. The sports complex has also a changing room, gym, medical center, laundry facilities and in the main building houses two press centers. Recreational facility and amusement at both facilities include TV, billiards, table football, computers, air conditioners and other modern equipment. The entire complex is managed by a team of highly qualified personnel. A special service for the 24-hour security of the sports facility is also available. The sport complex is today among the highest value in Southeast Europe. Youth Academy Famous for its excellent football youth work, its good scout network, the modern club's training ground and the Youth Academy base FC Vujadin Boakov, which is well equipped and one of the most prestigious in the Southeast Europe. Vovodina has developed renowned professional footballers such as Milo Krasia, Gojo Kular, Milan Stepanov, Srin Baja Escher, Dua Antadia, Angstrom 1 half ELJKOBRKIA, Dana Jul Alexa, Slobodan Mido Jivia, Alexander Katai, Guran Angstrom Ala, Jovo Basana Ia, Damia Stajak, Miroslav Stevanovia, among others. In 2008 and 2009, Vovodina organized together with the AC Milan a training camp at the FC Vujadin Boakov. The Vovodina junior players were trained there by Milan training techniques and methods. In 2012, Vovodina's team, led by coach Milan Kozinovia, won the Serbian Youth Championship. Supporters One of the first organized supports of Vovodina fans was recorded in 1931, at the away game against Morvar Angstrom Abak. Already in 1937, the first organized supporters club was established, probably the first organized supporter group in the former Yugoslavia. Although the club had numerous supporters throughout the history, more organized groups emerged end of the 70 Euro unregistered trademark S and beginning of the 80 Euro unregistered trademark S. In 1989, for the first time starts the idea of uniting of all the smaller supporter groups. This idea is realized and the group was named Red Firm. A few days later, several youngsters established the group Firma as one of the subgroups, because they wanted a Serbian name for their group. The disintegration of Yugoslavia and its follows led to stagnation in all Yugoslavian supporter groups so that in 1992, the Red Firm fell apart and the Firma took over the leadership of the organized supports. The members of Firma call themselves Firma I the plural of the singular form firma, and belongs today to the top supporter groups in Serbia. They are more known as ultras, not hooligans. However, they always protected the name and honor of FK Vovodina, Novi Sad and Serbia, putting themselves against all who are not doing enough for the club. The firma I gather in the north stand of the Karanare Stadium, from where they fiercely support their club. Besides football, they also support other sports sections of the Vovodina Novi Sad Sport Association. The club also has a group of their oldest supporters, called the Stara Garda and who are for more than 40 years in the east stand of the stadium. Honours, Domestic, National Championships, 2, Yugoslavian First League, Winners, 1966-1989. National Cups, 1, Serbian Cup, Winners, 2014. International, European Cup UEFA Champions League, one quarter finalists, 1967. Intercities Fairs Cup UEFA Cup UEFA Europa League, one quarter finalists, 1962, 1968. Mitropa Cup, winners, 1977. UEFA Intertoto Cup, winners, 1976. Individual Awards. Serbian Super League of Footballer of the Year, Dragan Ray, Serbian Super League Young Footballer of the Year, Slobodan Mido Jivia Club Records.
Radomir Krstia is Vovodinas's record holder by number of appearances. The goal-scoring record holder is striker Toda Veselinovia, with 586 goals. He was also the top scorer of the Yugoslav League in 1956, 1957, 1958 and 1961. In addition, Vovodina had two more top scorers in its history. In 1993, Vesko Mijlovia with 22 goals and in 2010, Dragon MRDJA also with 22 goals. The first player of Vovodina, who wore the representative jersey of Yugoslavia was Abraham Saras Yugan in 1922, where he scored two goals in the match against Czechoslovakia. Since then, numerous Vovodina football players were in the Yugoslav national team and Toda Veselinovia, Vujadin Boakov, Zdravo Rolkov, Dobrosav Krstia, Sylvester Tekar, Angstrom one half Arko Nikolia, Debrivage Trivia and Simula Mijlovia are among them. Player Records, Club All-Time European Record As of August 9, 2013, UEFA Ranking, as of May 2, 2014, Best Results in European Competitions, Biggest Win in UEFA Competition Current Squad, as of September 4, 2014, Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. Players with multiple nationalities, Nikola Popara, Marco Cordia Miko Novikovia Janko Tumbasavia Sran Babia Majak Gord Novia Bojan Nastia Saw A.A. Erko, Art on Loan, Note, Flags indicate national team as defined under FIFA eligibility rules. Players may hold more than one non-FIFA nationality. For recent transfers, See List of Serbian Football Transfers Summer 2014 Technical Staff, as of June 19, 2014, Club Management, as of July 29, 2014, Notable Players, to appear in this section a player must have either, played at least 100 games in Serbian Top League, played at least 80 games for the club, set a club record or won an individual award while at the club, Played at least one international match for their national team at any time. For the list of all current and former players with Wikipedia article, please see, Category FK Vovodina Players. Coaching History, Kit Manufacturers and Shirt Sponsors, Shirt Sponsors and Manufacturers, References. External Links, Official, Official Website, FK Vovodina at UEFA, Unofficial, FKVovodina.com. Napredvoza.com, Supporters, Firma1989.com, English, Other, Vovodina Novi Sad at Capitana S, Vovodina Novi Sad at Utakmika RS.